Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reacting to creepy things kids have said, so yeah, let's just get right into the video. I had a music teacher who took his four-year-old daughter to an old theatre in Alaska. She started crying immediately when she walked in, so he took her outside and she stopped crying. He took her back in and she started crying again, so he took her outside again. He asked why she was crying and she said, that's where the people with no eyes watch you. Wait, so she can see like ghosts or something? Oh, that's so creepy. Seriously, kids can see some weird things. Is it because kids are so innocent, they can see more weird things than we can see? Like, we can't see it, but they can see it because they're more innocent? Is that why? Seriously, because it's always kids who see things that we can't see. Maybe it's because they're still poor. Maybe that's why. A friend of mine's child told him, Daddy, I love you so much that I want to cut your head off and carry it around so I can see your face whenever I want. That is honestly so creepy. A kid, and they already want to cut your head off? That is so creepy, what the heck? That's not how it works kiddo, that's not how it works. Don't do it! My dad watched his mother die of a ruptured gallbladder when he was 12 and still remembers vividly. My sister one day randomly gets up almost an hour after she's gone to bed and goes up to him. The conversation went like this. Sister, daddy, your mummy died in a red sweater, jeans, sneakers and with her hair in a ponytail, right? And her hair was blonde? Wait, did she have a dream or something? Dad drops book his reading and stares wide-eyed and then says yes. Sister, what color were her eyes? Dad, blue. Why? Sister, oh, she doesn't have them anymore. Just empty suckers. I was curious. And she goes right to bed. Oh, that's honestly so creepy. I'm getting goosebumps right now. Oh, that is creepy. So where did her eyes go? Why is it empty? <laughs> what is this? Did she have a dream or what? And she just goes back to bed and that's it? She acts like nothing has ever happened? What the heck? <laughs> She's like, yep, that's all. Okay, bye. I'm going to sleep now. That is honestly so creepy. What happened? I'm actually still in shock. Why did she just go back to bed? She got up and told him this and went back to bed. And that's it. And she acted like nothing happened. <sighs> My first son at three years old, as he was falling asleep in the car. Last time I died in a fire, I almost drove off the road. <laughs> I almost drove off the road. Whoa. Last time they died in a fire? So basically they remember their past life? What? What are with these kids? Seriously. Kids know things that we don't know. That's so weird. My cousin's kid, when he was around four or five, came into the bathroom as I was straightening my hair. He closed the door, looked at me and said, I don't want to kill you. Creepy. He's 13 now and whenever I tell him the story, he just laughs his off. I don't want to kill you? So is that like a voice in his head telling him to kill her? Oh my gosh, that is honestly so creepy. He even closed the door. He closed the door and he was like, I don't want to kill you. If a kid said that to me, I would just run. I would run for my life, okay? <laughs> bye, kiddo, bye. I jokingly asked, what's the best way to get a girlfriend? Seven-year-old's response, tell her to be my girlfriend or she'll never see her parents again. <gasps> what? Um, this kid. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's gonna happen when this kid grows up? <laughs> what? Tell her to be my girlfriend or she'll never see her parents again? What is this kid thinking? Seriously, what? I'm actually creeped out right now. This is actually so creepy. He was six going on seven and we had this thing where I would hold him down and pretend to eat his face. Insert nom 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 sounds and he would always respond with stop it and laughter. Well this day everything is going as usual and when I get up he says I'll never eat your face. I'll cut it off and wear it as a mask. Oh, well that escalated quick. Um, okay. <laughs> I hope when they grow up they don't actually do this. Can you cut someone's tongue off without killing them? The kid wants to know that? Why does the kid want to know that? What kind of thought is this seriously? Why is the kid having these thoughts? Why does the kid want to know about cutting tongues off? Why? Daddy, remember that time we died? The kid asked them that? Um, no kiddo, no. <laughs> this is actually so creepy. I'm watching you make my sandwich so that when you die I will know how to do it. Already? This kid is already thinking about death? I mean, hey, at least that is kind of good in one way because at least the kid won't starve. <laughs> at least the kid will know how to make a sandwich. At least that works that one way. About two years ago, my cousin and my little brother were four and they were just having a regular little kid conversation when all of a sudden my cousin looked at me and said, let's drain her blood. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's too far, kiddo. That's too far. <laughs> they were just having fun and the other kid is like, I don't really like her, you know, let's strain her blood. That is honestly so scary. I will stay away from this kid. <laughs> he said daddy sleep, then pushed my head underwater at the pool. Did this kid just attempt to murder his dad? He was basically trying to make his dad permanently sleep. Ooh, kiddo, don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below if you haven't heard any other creepy things kids have said. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.